Okay, so I was on the right track. So we're going to go to viewport, click that pawn sensing, on C pawn. We're going to cast to sentinel. Make sure you click just blueprint, not the animation blueprint. Connect these two. There we go. So whenever he sees the sentinel, we're going to do AI move two. Connect those. Uh, let's check in here for a second. Okay. So the target actor is the sentinel. Hit, hold alt and click to get rid of the line. And you're going to get a reference to self. Just type self in there. And so... What's going to happen whenever he sees him? So, first of all, the AI will move to him, and it's going to... Here, we'll do cast to mutant animation blueprint. And we're going to get get anim instance. Put that down there, because we're going to use it more... And then we're going to set can run, whoops, can walk to true. That's all you need for this little thing up here. And then what we're going to do is on success, we're going to just copy this. On success, cast a animation blueprint mutant. Connect those, and then we're going to gonna get that set can walk to false, and then we're going to play animation. And this animation to play will be our punch, or whatever it was called, standing melee attack horizontal. Couldn't have gotten a longer named file, but so we're going to do that. And now we're going to just hit compile. Oh, yeah, connect those. Hit compile, save, we're going back to test here. Demo. Go to our mutant, go to the attack, and we're going to do the same thing as the jump, where we get the exact time when he uh, swings. So, right there is when he's done. So, 0.610. Go into our animation. We're going to do a delay. 0.610. And then we're going to set can walk. Uh, set can walk to true and connect this. This looks slightly different, but I assume this should still work. Go back over here. Yeah, this is, yeah, we'll do, we'll do the damage later. Now I just want him to chase us. First, you have to put him into the level, on it, obviously. So, go to our blueprints. You're going to drag the mutant into here. And I'm going to delete these two guys. Okay. I'm going to turn this guy around. Move him a little bit further away. Hit play. And he's not... He is doing the animation. But he is... Oh, yeah. Okay. You need to add the nav mesh volume. Nav mesh bounds, I think. I think that's right. Yeah. So you're going to add a... In volume zone on basic, add a nav mesh bounds. And you're going to just expand that so it's the whole map, taking up the whole thing. Okay, well, this is too big. Make sure it's not 
too big where it falls off the map. That should be good enough. Now we can hit play. And he's stuck. That's, jeez. Try again. There we go. And he's way too fast. So we can change that with our walk speed. So we're going to go in here. AI move to. We're going to make sure that we set max walk. So hold on. Character movement. Remember to always do that first. Walk speed, speed, get max walk speed. Set max walk speed. Always mess that up. Gonna connect that, connect that. Max walk speed. We'll just test out with 300 first. And on success, move these over. Jeez. Move these over. Gonna copy that, put it here, attach that. On success, we want it to we want him to basically not be moving. So we're just gonna have zero. Compile. Let's try that. So yeah. Still a little bit fast. I see his model is also crooked. So I'm gonna go over here. Just gonna rotate him a bit to the right. Compile. Yeah, so he still still looks like he's going too fast. So we can you can just keep on fiddling with the uh, walk speed. So that's really slow, but let's just see what happens. Yeah, like that. Like. And there we go. Walks up. He attacks. I don't know why he only attacked once. That's... Here, we'll add... What? Uh, stop the video here.